All right, hi everyone. So we're gonna take a look at other common mistakes today. And today we're gonna to take a look at misplaced semicolons. All right, so semicolons, um, that's the this symbol, marks the end of a statement. And, and this is similar in Java to what you would see in C and, and other programming languages because they well, all come from the same sort of uh, history or family of, of programming languages. So the semicolon in Java marks the end of a statement. Um, for instance, the end of an if statement. So for instance, what would happen if uh, you were to write uh, if radius greater than or equal to zero, uh, close the parentheses right there, put a semicolon right there and put your curly braces uh, there and there. So you got your curly braces, but you got your semicolon, right? This is the semicolon right here, right there. The program will calculate and output an area even when the input radius is negative. Wait, that's not what we were trying to do here. Why? What's going on? Well, what's going on right here, okay, is you got this extra semicolon. You shouldn't have had it. You've got a semicolon here, and you've got a semicolon there. Shouldn't you always have semicolons ending things? And the answer is no, not quite. What you want to do is not have a semicolon there, because what that does is it says the if statement is done, and, and it won't actually execute or shouldn't execute anything that comes after it. Um, so this portion of the if statement right here doesn't have a semicolon. So what you would do is you don't actually end your if with a semicolon. There's no there's no semicolon at the end right there. All right, so you got to be careful about that. Now, I'm a, a big fan of the J shell. So if I go J shell like this, and, and this can be another confusing aspect because with J shell, if I go, let me see, and I go int uh, my variable is equal to one semicolon like that. That's how I would normally set up a, a variable that's an integer. Now let's try a different one here. Let's try, um, let's call it my var two like that. Okay, and I'm gonna initialize this to a value of two and I hit enter. Look what I didn't do. I didn't put a semicolon in there. The J shell allows you to do that. The J shell allows you to not put a semicolon at the end of a line. It just in order to make it interactive, etc. That's actually kind of problematic, okay? And so you want to be very careful about not getting lazy when you're using the J shell or being uh, not careful when you're writing programs in IntelliJ or Eclipse or one of these other IDEs. You always want to put the, the semicolon where it's supposed to go, which means most of the time at the end of a line, except in certain situations like this if right here. Okay, where you don't have to put that extra semicolon in because it'll make the behavior of the program not good. Mm -hmm.